What's going on, socialites? Welcome to the semi-final Season 9 Global Pokemon Society Draft League. We got the Denver Ninetales taking on the semi Winnie Sears. Ooh, bringing the Komala over the Docks Bun. Interesting choice. We'll have to see how the Denver Ninetales adjust to that information. Uh, I remember I played Simi Winnie a while back, back in like week three or something, three or four, and uh, their team was pretty different. They uh, picked up some ice Pokemon now, Snow, uh, with a bomb of Snow and Satitan, and uh, us, the Boston Braviers, actually traded them Miss Magius. So we'll have to see if any of those play a key role here. No fairy, though. Definitely uh, opens up Dragapult a lot more. Just be clicking Draco Meteors. Just gotta watch out for those uh, terrestrializations. There's the Palafin coming out. Uh, pretty standard for Simi Winnie to go right into the Palafin. Flip turn. Big damage. So we're getting a little bit of damage off on Dragalge. Now again though, this kind of just allows Dragapult to come in if it wants to and click that Draco Meteor. This could be um, perhaps a Terra Fairy. Looks like no swap out here from Dragalge. Oh, there's the Trasalization. Let's see, is it going to be the Fairy? No, it's going to be flying, actually. That does help with, uh, give them a ground immunity. This is going to be a big Draco. Even a crit, though, not doing much. Could be a Salt Vest. The Draco on Dragapult, though, also not going to do much. Uh, thanks to the resist there. Let's see, what does um, Denver want to go into here? Big damage on the Rotom already with that uh, flip turn. Uh, gotta be Scar flip turn too, of course. We, uh, we know that now. Because the Rotom is Scar. Seeing what semi when goes for. We're gonna swap out. Now again, there's no um electric immunity here. Going into Miss Magius, which will take the bolt switch pretty well. The scarf is on Palatin. Right? I'm not I'm not crazy. The scarf is on Palatin.
This could be Komala coming in. Yep, gonna be Komala coming in on the Shadow Ball. Nice swap in there. We're gonna get a U-turn off. That'll allow Muff to come in though. It'll absorb those toxic spikes. Ooh, a wish. What's it trying to wish up? Nothing's really taking that much damage. Back out into Dragalgy. But Dragalgy's a flying type. This gunk shot's gonna connect. Will it be enough to take out Dragalgy? It is, so the wish isn't gonna matter. Uh, unfortunate there. Maybe was expecting the Drain Punch to come out, but honestly, uh, gunk shot's so strong. Uh, unless you just want to make sure you don't miss on something, then, uh, usually better just to go for that 120 base power stab attack so both teams have terrestrialized uh, the Dragalgy is gone so the Seer's terrestrialization is gone in comes Palafin now in the hero mode Big wave crash coming out here. Uh, Palafin's gonna take some recoil, of course. Uh, the gunk shot connects. Does it get a poison on? Ooh, big poison. Big poison damage there. So now Palafin locked into... Locked into the wave crash. Uh, probably will take itself out here, especially with the poison damage. Gonna swap out Palfin. He wants to save that, but Palfin's on a clock now. Uh, unless uh, some more snow can come in. Ooh, a bomb snow comes in here. Gonna get the snow warning up. So he won't take much here. Ooh, gets the poison though. The the poison touch coming in. Muck doesn't really have a lot of utility now. Um, Bomb of Snow should outspeed. Can probably get an Aurora Veil up. If it so chooses. Or I could just go for the Earth Power, try and get the KO, or a Blizzard. I'm sure either would be enough. Ooh, goes with the Ice Shard. I don't know if that's enough to KO Muck. It's not. And the Gunk Shot's gonna connect. Not enough to take out a Bomb Snow. Is the Poison enough? It is! Oh, huge! Huge stuff with the Poison. So now we gotta see how how many turns of the Snow do the Seers have. In comes the Titan. I'm really impressed that he brought the Wave Crash Palp. And I don't, I don't remember him ever bringing it. It's definitely, um, it's so powerful. But you see the recoil that happens here. Here's the belly drum, but, uh, unaware Quagsire, <laughs> he just kind of giggles at that. He says, yeah, thanks for taking some damage for me. I appreciate you. Spinner coming out. Not doing much. Why is going to use this opportunity to get the Stealth Rocks up?
Right, I might be able to stall out these uh, snow turns. Looking for the uh, defense drops here with the liquidation. Not going to get it here, though. And there's a yawn onto the Titan. Yeah, the liquidation defense drops are really the only way for Satan to break through Quagsire. Gonna have to swap out the Titan. Uh, the snow should be ending soon. We'll, we'll have to take a look. Um, see if that is icy rock or bomb snow. Yeah, so it is Icy Rock, Obama Snow. Um, I think this would get Wood Hammer, right? So we can... Denver, look, looks like they were thinking what to sacrifice. I mean, again, I kind of already talked about Muck is uh, pretty useless. I mean, it has a Shadow Sneak opportunity. There's a Wish. But uh, the Wish isn't going to be able to get off onto any of the damaged Pokemon there. We'll heal up the Komala, who also removes the rocks there. But now Flamigo's in, and Flamigo looking to feast. Looking to have a snack here. Close combat. Knocking out Kamala. Alphans back in. Gonna see Flamigo swap out. Going into Rotom. Uh, assuming for the sack here. Going with the flip turn, going to knock out Rotom. At this point, though, it does look like Dragapult should be able to clean this up. There's a Shadow Ball. Should knock out Miss Magius. Is gonna come out. I wouldn't. It is Scarf. Okay. Oh, but it just goes for the flip turn. Probably expecting a switch out. It is a little awkward for Palpin, though. It, it, it really. Once it stays in, it's going to take that poison damage and 
That'll that'll be about it. Dragapult showing off the Terror Blast. I, I don't know if that was necessary. That might have been uh, some information that Denver wanted to keep. So now again, with, with the poison, and really it has to... I guess it doesn't have to go for a wave crash. There's the wave crash though, so even if this takes out Quagsire, which it doesn't, not, not even to hit KO, the recoil knocks out Palafin, and Denver taking game one here. I have to see how the Simi Wing Seers adjust going to game two. Um, where things could have gone wrong for them? Uh, may maybe throwing away a bomb of snow. What well, wasn't the right play? L looks like they're running physical a bomb snow too, which is interesting. And I only say that because with Satine you already have a, uh... What was I going to say? A physical ice Pokemon. So... There is that. Now... Simi Winnie leading off with Palafin last game. Of course, it, it was the Scarf. Could they do it again? Here comes Palafin. Alton could go uh, right for the flip turn again. Um, I don't think it would go for like an ice punch or anything. Yeah, just gonna go with that flip turn. Not gonna do as much to Dragapult as it did to Rotom. So this is basically the same sort of situation as last game, but uh, Denver saving some HP here by going for a U-turn with Dragapult. And uh, similarly when he has to Think about who they want to bring in. So they're gonna bring in Miss Magius. I wonder if it's Scarf. Scarf Miss Magius. We'll have to see here. Or not Scarf, uh, Focus Sash. Could have a uh, Mystical Fire. Oh, gonna swap out here. What's gonna come in on the Tinkaton? Gonna be Palafin. So Palafin's gonna get Scarf knocked off, which is pretty huge. Scarf on the Palafin. Sorry, I'm just changing this to hero mode.
no scarf definitely uh, helps things like Rotom now because it has its scarf. Um, just goes with the flip turn. Maul's gonna come in. Wood Hammer could definitely still be a thing. Oh, Seed Bomb. Maybe, maybe it doesn't get Wood Hammer. I, I, I knew it got some grass attack. Kamala with the Wish. Gunk shot. Looking to get that poison. No poison. I don't know what else uh, Kamala has. I should probably look at what moves it gets. Another wish. Now Flamigo comes in, looking to deal some damage sign. Could definitely uh, see Dragalge coming in here. Oh no, gonna be uh, Miss Magius, but uh, Scrappy don't miss. And that's a that's a dead ghost witch. I see a bomb of snow come in now. They have a snow warning up. see a terrestrialization on a bomb of snow uh, that will lose the um, defense boost though so this is still a good chance to KO my goodness Flamigo mi amigo Flamigo Woo! calm down the seers Losing their terrestrialization just like that. There's the Titan. Titan is out now. We we already know the deal. Ooh, they swap out the Titan right away. Going to Dragalge. Uh, I wouldn't say this. Well, does it get Energy Ball? Does Dragalge get Energy Ball? I, I can see Dragalge getting Energy Ball. No, it doesn't get Energy Ball. What, what's it get for Grass Attack? That doesn't get like any any Grass moves. Can't have the toxic spikes. I love how, like, especially with Terra on the Dragon Ball, not that it's terra right now, but, like, um, there's so many things that don't care about the toxic spikes on Denver's team. 
Man, remember when Jigalji got flip turn? There's a knockoff. Getting rid of the leftovers. Surf not doing much. Gouge is going to swap out here. The snow should be almost ending. Halifin comes in. Halifin paralyzed. Looks like Denver swapping a muck and absorb these toxic spikes. There's a wave crash breaking through the uh, paralysis, knocking out muck. Gonna take some uh, decent recoil though. Dragapult's in. It's looking to get a KO. Gonna get it right on the Palafin. The Draco Meteor connecting. It's a Titan. Out again. Last turn of the snow. Mala coming back out here. On the Quagsire switch. Wants to get that uh, seed bomb off. Mi amigo Flamigo coming back in though. There's the wish. Come on, I'm gonna swap out. Going into Dragalgy. How much HP is Dragalgy at? Still still healthy. Um Dragalgy should take this close combat. It's gonna get wished up. Denver trying to think about what they want to do here. Uh, looks like they were thinking about getting Dragapult in. Would have been good to get on the, uh, in on the toxic spikes there. Again, bunch of spikes up.
they are slowly getting whittled down. Have we seen his last move? Is it protect? I don't know, like, what the point of, um, swapping back and forth into Dragalge really is here. I mean, I, you know, I get it, like, keep it healthy, but it's also not, um, not moving anything along really either. Because I don't think the Dragalge really has a way to hit the Tinkaton, um, other than the Surf, which we saw only do 27 HP. Oh, not even doing that much. I'm uh, pretty pretty surprised by that. And dropping the hammer, taking down the Titan. Kamala, almost almost dead. Um, again, if it has wish protect, you can stall out some turns. But um, looks like Denver's going to take this 2-0. Pretty convincingly, especially in this last game. He still survives. <laughs> it looks like Tinkaton will end this one with a Gigaton hammer. Tinkaton cleaning up there. Didn't see it all in game one, but uh, cleaned up in game two. And Denver, wow. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Going to face your Boston Braviaries in the finals. A repeat of season four. Jeez, listen. I want to know. I, I if you're if you're in the league or if you follow the league or whatever. If you're a coach, a fan, how do you feel about Denver and Boston taking next season off? The 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 shakeups. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, stay classy, society.